who is this guy, Joseph Karanja? This nigga that we know nothing about. Who is this nigga? Where is he from? What is his story? What did he do for this country? So guys, of course we all know by now. I mean, shucks. So I'm just seated eating my brunch, my lunch breakfast. And then I noticed this chat right over here that you can't see. This is a chat that I think it was bought in 2017. It is written 2017, so I think it's a calendar. Yeah, it's actually a calendar. It has the pictures and the photos of all Kenyan leaders, uh, starting from the president to prime ministers to deputy president, which is just one. And then it has a vice president. Tell me why. If you held me at gunpoint and asked me about Joseph Murumbi, I would not know who that is. If you held me at gunpoint and asked me about Joseph at Karanja, I mean that that sounds like a random nigger on the streets of Nairobi, or even like a random nigger in the streets of Muranga, Nyeri, or somewhere. If you asked me how long Salyam Davadi served as vice president, <laughs> you'll probably kill me. If you ask me who was deputy uh, vice president during Kibaki's era, I'll probably remember Mudiawuri and um, Wamalwa Kijana. Kalonzo Msiuka was also vice president to Kibaki. I didn't feel his presence. In fact, he was the last one during the last term of Kibaki. I didn't feel his presence. I know I was almost an adult. In fact, I was an adult at some point, but I was almost an adult because I was still in school. But I... Okay, guys, look at this. Mm. If I was a held at can't point and ask some of these questions, you all would kill me. So guys, of course, we all know by now. I mean, shucks. So I'm just seated eating my brunch, my lunch breakfast. And then I noticed this chat right over here that you can't see. This is a chat that I think it was bought in 2017. It is written 2017, so I think it's a calendar. Yeah, it's actually a calendar. It has the pictures and the photos of all Kenyan leaders. Uh, starting from the president to prime ministers to deputy president, which is just one. And then it has a vice president. Tell me why. If you held me at gunpoint and asked me about Joseph Murumbi, If you held me at gunpoint and asked me about Joseph at Karanja, I mean that that sounds like a random nigger on the streets of Nairobi, or even like a random nigger in the streets of Muranga, Nyeri, or somewhere. If you asked me how long Salyam Davadi served as vice president. You'll probably kill me. If you ask me who was deputy, uh, vice president during Kibaki's era, I'll probably remember Mudiawuri and um, Wamalwa Kijana. Kalonzo Msiuka was also vice president to Kibaki. I didn't feel his presence. In fact, he was the last one during the last term of Kibaki. I didn't feel his presence. I know I was almost an adult. In fact, I was an adult at some point, but I was 
almost an adult because I was still in school, but I okay, guys, look at this. Mm. If I was held at gunpoint and ask some of these questions, y'all would kill me. Yanni, these people used to be interchanged like. <laughs> They used to serve, somebody served for like four months. Somebody, <laughs> there were so many because, and then tell me who the hell is Josephat Karanja? Tell me who the hell is Joseph Murumbi? If you held me at gunpoint and told me to name the second vice president of Kenya and the time he served, I'll probably die. I'm not saying that during my 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 history lesson or social studies that I didn't learn about vice presidents. I probably I, I passed history, but I don't think we focus so much on Josephat Karanza and Joseph Murumbi. Who the hell are these people? But then let me show you other interesting facts. So this is the chart that I'm guessing was bought before the previous election where Ruto is now president. So of course we all know our first uh, uh, president is Jomo Kenyatta. He served from December 1964 to uh, August of 78. So those are more than 10 years. I don't know how many of those years are. I'm not a mathematician, I'm a historian. Anywho, Moy that served 24 years. Was it 24 or 30 years? <laughs> Look at that gap. <laughs> Look at the time he served. The time he served. This was just like Mseveni of Uganda. This one. <laughs> it's just that he was not too violent like them, but history would have it if you if you search for some documentaries about his era, you'll know that there was a lot of violence and disappearing. Okay, let me, and then this one, at least I remember this one because I was in primary school and this one because I was, well, an adult. We know uh, the prime minister was uh, Mze Jomo Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. We know the deputy president in the previous administration was William Ruto. Now this guy is the president. Now let's come here. The vice president. My phone is acting up, so I'm trying to. I'm really working hard. So Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, we know him. We celebrated him. We know about him. There's so many documentaries for about him. But tell me why he served as vice president in December 12, 1964, and then four months later, in May 1965. We had this nigger that we know nothing about. Who is this nigger? Where is he from? What is his story? What did he do for this country? We do not know about him. We know about this one, or we do not know about this one. Okay, him, he served from 1965 May, when Jaramogi was removed, to December of 1966. So he, we can say he served for about a, one year... Um, Eight months, maybe. I don't know, give or take. Um, then there was Daniel Arab Moy, the luckiest nigger that served here as president for more, almost 30 years. So for him, he started in, I don't know about this one, January 5th of 1967 to January, to August 22. <laughs> to August 70, 1978. How many years are those? Um, about 10, 11 years. Yeah. Yeah, 11 years. Why is this nigga having a lot of time more than others? Even here, he's the longest serving president. Here, he's the longest serving deputy. Here. Longest serving deputy president. And then there was this nigger. Yeah? 
who just died of, uh was it last year or last year but what was it 2022 or 2023 when did Mwai Kibaki die anyway i know him when he was president because i was in school he introduced free primary education that is not so free anymore so Mwai Kibaki served from october 1978 to 1988 it is not indicative of um which month so we do not know so those again are about 10 years longest serving deputy president so who is this guy joseph karanja i know nothing of this nick just fat, just fat karanja I'll probably, I know, probably I have read about him in history books, but, and I probably passed that exam, but he is no longer on my mind. So if you help me at gunpoint and ask me, one, two, three, four, five, who is the fifth vice president of Kenya? You'll just kill me. If you help me at gunpoint and ask me, one, two, three, four, five, who is the fifth vice president of Kenya? You'll just kill me. So he is served for one year. It's not even indicative of uh, how long he served. He probably entered in December and was removed in January. <laughs> probably. Uh, so I also know this nigga because oh, I loved him as a child because I wanted him to become one day the president of this country. So for him as a vice president, he served from May of 1989 to august of 2000 so those are oh yeah so this one is probably the longest serving deputy president and that's probably how i know him because um eight, eight, 1989 that was before i was born to 2002 those are about maybe th wait Thirteen years. Those are probably about thirteen years, and you can see there is some months over there. Thirteen years, some months, and then there is Msaliam Davidi. Mimi ungenuliza Msaliam Davidi alikuwa president what year? Vice president which year? You'll just kill me because again, look, look at the date. It's fourth of November to this <laughs> to the tenth of. <laughs> this guy was a vice president for about one month. <laughs> is it one month or two months? This is two months. Oh my God. If you, if you could have asked me when was Musalia uh, Mudavedi vice president, I would have failed. So let me see this one. Oh, my lucky John. I remember this one because I was in school. Uh, so, and then he died. Uh, he served from third of January 2003 to 23rd of August 2003. And then he was repla replaced. Um, uh, so him, he was just vice pre president for uh, about eight months before he died. So that one I remember. And then he was replaced by Moody Awori. Moody Awori, I remember him because of his prison reforms. Um, policies. He served from September 25th, 2003 to 9th of January 2008 after post-election violence in Kenya. So him, he served his full term for um, that season. And then I'll come Kalonzo Msioka. Watermelon! Watermelon. This one served from 9th Jan 2008 to 9th April 2013. I know I was almost an adult in this season, but I didn't feel his presence as vice president. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know what this notion he has that he can be president, but to me, I don't see it possible. Because he is watermelon. So yes, so this is me in Shags discovering our president. Yeah.
Asanteni very much. Let me know what you think. Which president didn't you know? Did you know Joseph Josephat Karanza and Joseph Murumbi? Did you know about them? Let me know.